In this video, I will explain how to draw the budget constraint. So let's jump right into an example. This says, assume that pizzas cost $10 each and that burgers cost $5 each. If a consumer has $100 to spend, find and draw their budget constraint. So here's the idea with a budget constraint. We have a certain amount of money that we can spend, aka our budget of $100, and we want to know what is every combination of the quantity of pizzas and burgers that we could buy based on this budget. So the way that we draw this budget constraint is pretty simple. On a graph, we have our y-axis and our x-axis. What we're going to do is place one of the goods on the y-axis. So let's say, let's put burgers on the y-axis. And then on the x-axis, we'll put our other good, which in this case would be pizzas. Now to draw our budget constraint, here's what we do. We first ask ourselves, if we only bought one good, so if we only bought burgers, for example, how many burgers could we buy? So if we have $100 to spend and a burger costs $5, then the number of burgers we could buy would simply be 100 divided by 5. So our total income divided by the cost of a burger. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. So if we only spent all of our money on burgers, we could buy 20 burgers. So to graph this, let's put a little point right here, and we can say this quantity is 20. Now notice that when we're on this axis right here, if we buy 20 burgers, notice where we're at on the x-axis, on the pizza's axis, we're way down here, we're at zero. So if we buy 20 burgers, then we don't have any money left to buy any pizza. So in other words, we would buy zero pizzas. Now on the flip side, what if we only bought pizzas? How many pizzas could we buy? So again, we have $100 to spend and one pizza costs $10. So the number of pizzas we could buy would just be 100 divided by 10. So our total income divided by the cost of a pizza. And 100 divided by 10 would simply be 10. So if we spent all of our money on pizzas, we could buy 10 pizzas. So let's go ahead and mark that. Let's say that's right about here, 10 pizzas. And notice on the graph, when we buy 10 pizzas, the level that we're at on this axis is zero. So we're saying if we buy 10 pizzas, then we get to buy zero burgers. We don't have any money left over to buy burgers. Now, once we've identified these two points on the graph, all we have to do is draw a line to connect them. And this line right here is our budget constraint. And what this budget constraint line really represents is every combination of the quantity of burgers and pizzas that we could buy that would exactly equal our total income of $100. So we know two of the points on this line. So if we bought 20 burgers, we could buy zero pizzas. Or if we bought 10 pizzas, we could buy zero burgers. But if we wanted to find some other combinations of the quantities of burgers and pizzas we could buy, then we can use something known as the budget constraint equation, which is this equation right here. We say that our income is equal to the price of good A, so in this case, let's say that's pizzas, times the quantity of good A, so the quantity of pizzas, plus the price of good B, which in this case could be burgers, times the quantity of burgers. So to find the budget constraint equation for this example, let's just fill in all the values that we know. So the income is $100, so we'll say 100 is equal to the price of A, so remember A, we're going to let that be pizzas, so that will be $10 each, so 10 times the quantity of A, or the quantity of pizzas, in this case let's label that as P, so P will just be the quantity of pizzas, plus we have the price of B, which in this case will be burgers, so the price of burgers is $5, so 5, times the quantity of burgers. So let's just put a B for the quantity of burgers. So this is our budget constraint equation for this particular example. Now what this equation allows us to do is plug in a quantity for either the pizzas or the burgers and solve for the other good. So for example, let's say we want to buy eight pizzas. So let's plug in an eight for P right here. We would have 100 is equal to 10 times eight plus five times B, the number of burgers. So if we simplify, we get 100 is equal to 80 plus 5B. So to solve for B, we can subtract an 80 from both sides. So we get on the left-hand side, 20 is equal to, on the right-hand side, these 80s cancel out, and we're left with 5B. And to solve for B, we can divide both sides by 5. So 20 divided by 5 is 4. On this side, the 5s cancel out, and we're left with B. So if we buy eight pizzas, then that means we can also buy four burgers. And we'll notice in our equation, if we did buy eight pizzas, that would be 10 times eight, so $80 spent on pizza, and four burgers, that would be four times five, so $20 spent on burgers, 80 plus 20 is exactly equal to our income of 100. So that's one potential combination of the quantity of pizzas and burgers you could buy.
Now if we want, we can add that to our graph. So we said if we buy eight pizzas, let's say that's right about here, and we draw a little line to our budget constraint, we can also buy four burgers. So let's say that's right about here, and we can draw a line again. And what we'll notice is that the place where these two intersect is exactly on our budget constraint line. And that should make sense, because again, we said if we buy eight pizzas and four burgers, that comes to a total price of $100. And we said that each combination of burgers and pizzas on this line will be exactly equal to $100, in other words, our budget. And if you repeat this process over and over again of plugging in different quantities of pizzas and burgers, you can find even more points on the budget constraint line. So for example, if you plug in six pizzas into the budget constraint equation, you'll find that the number of burgers you can buy is eight. So that's another point on the line. Or if you plug in four pizzas, you'll find that the number of burgers you can buy is 12. So that's yet another point on the line. And you'll find that if you choose to buy two pizzas, then you'll have enough income to buy 16 burgers. So that's yet another point on the budget constraint line. So that is how you can find a budget constraint equation along with how to draw a budget constraint on a graph.